tennis here, either I go boom like that or see my body. Now I change the angle of this because once I knee, see the elbow, the angle's open. Versus I just knee, oh my elbow hurt. Ah. When you're doing knee like I mentioned earlier, instead of going straight up like this, right? I want you to sort of like understand the angle, the angle of how I knee, right? You can knee like this, right? But I want you guys to look at this. I'm heavy on this side for me, okay? She does a right knee into the pad, straight up, as hard as she can, right? Now this time, I want to sort of come in at the angle. In the very last second, I want the heel sort of go out like that. So when I come in, she sort of look like this, okay? So knee go out, you see that? That's gonna change the power because of pivot. You can only do so much with this. Even if you try to push all the way, right? You can only extend so much with the hip. And the muscle, you only work the top and the bottom muscle. I want all the muscle gets involved around the hip. So instead of doing knee like this, right? You want to think about thrust forward, like a spear, like that. That's why the toe, the heel goes out slightly. So if you kind of look down, you should see, you should see your heel, not this way, because it changes the angle of your knee. So when she knees, I want to see that rear really heel. Whoosh, turn it a little bit out. Whoosh, that's it, okay? At the same time, you want to sort of like point your toe because that makes your knee sharper. So when she knees, whoosh, that's how I want you guys to do it, okay? You see my knee like this? See how it's straight? So when I knee, not only when I lift this, I'm doing this. See the angle of my heel? It goes outwards versus this. So when I knee, it goes angle like that, okay? And of course, you can hold a knee like this, especially when you don't have belly pads. Uh, I personally don't prefer it this way because something very specific the distance. If I hold this, watch my body in the pad. She's kneeing right here, right? My body's not, see the distance of my body? I'm giving a, 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 a sort of false sense of distance because now when she knees, she's kneeing really right there. So when she knees me, I'm just gonna learn how to catch. Go, whoosh, right there. See my pad, let's go like this. I just really try to learn how to capture the knee versus me, I already knee, oh, like that. See, that's really far. So now when she knees, I just go, like that. So she needs again. What I do a lot of times, I'll put this hand right here. So she has to get rid of this first before she does a knee. Yeah, you got two ways. I'll show you how to do it. Number one is you pair my hand down. So take your right hand, pat it down. Now left hand reach for my side of my neck. Now, boom, like that. You see it? So you can sort of do that. Boom, like that. Right? The other way is you just pat it straight down. Reach to my hand. Boom, like that. You see that? You just make sure that those are sort of taking consideration because no one's gonna just do this. Knee my body, right? They're sort of in this position. So when you wanna knee, you gotta take away the barrier, which is my hand, right? So if her hand is here, either I go boom, like that, or see my body. Now I change the angle of this because once I knee, see the elbow, the angle's open. Versus I just knee, oh my elbow hurt, ah, that's still blocking me. So when I sort of pat this hand down, boom, right here, see the knee? Now there's a knee, then there's the elbow follow, okay? So I want you guys to have that, have at it. Do the same thing, the drill still happens, right? She still punches, right? She still, still kicks, right? She moves sometimes, right? And then she kicks. Oh, hey, then my hand goes like that. Then knee, oh, hey, that's the same thing with the other side. You can do left or right, oh, hey. Left knee with a switch. Yes, <laughs> that's it. As soon as you switch, take this hand, control my neck or my head, Whoosh, like that, yes. You guys see that? Do not do this because it changed the posture of how I feed the knee. I'm upright, just I'm fighting her, right? So she has a knee, go through this. Knee, yeah, yes! <laughs> so now she's like, oh knee, knee. I gotta think about the way to do knee, versus knee, right? I don't dictate the, the fights, she does it. I just help her to get there. So now when she needs, she gotta get rid of this. Cause my hand is here, she get rid of it, boom, that's a knee. Does that make sense guys? Does that make a little different? You can do this still, I just don't prefer it this way. I want you guys to have the ability to knee anytime. Bang, yeah, <laughs> she can kick anytime. She can still do her punches, she foot jabs, then she kicks right away. <laughs> That's it, okay. You guys see how the default is, I'm up, boom, teep. Oh wait, I'm supposed to kick, right? So now teep, follow through with the kick. Ooh, wait, now go, Oosh. now angle. That's it, now go. Oosh. So she's always busy. Think about this, right? If we're fighting, her hands up, right? I want to throw in my knee. I'm not gonna just go, okay, knee. <laughs> right, she's gonna punch me, because the range is different. So the first thing we think about is monitor, right? It's almost like a stuff. I check the hands. I wanna monitor these limbs so that they get controlled. I don't just walk in and try to do knee and hope for the best. 
<laughs> Hoping for the best might be the, the, wrong, the wrong way to do it sometimes, right? So you want to think about, I do the best I can to control the limbs. So when I want to do the knee, it doesn't matter if I'm doing the right knee or left knee. I come in with the control, and all I do is I'm patting and pulling away like that. See it? The same thing with the left knee. I can take my hand like this. I'll pull this hand down. Now watch my left hand. I'm going to go towards the neck. Why? Because I'm controlling the, the head better this way. If I have a control of the neck, I can pull her body in or out. This makes sense. I can push. That becomes my cross. Or if I'm controlled like this, now I have a foot for the left knee like that. Sometimes you'll grab right here. I have that problem because I'm shorter. <laughs> so for me to reach in, it's harder, right? So if I can somehow control the limbs, this is fine. The, don't grab the shoulder. Don't grab the shoulder. I don't grab the shoulder as much because sometimes it can be hard to control. Not saying it's impossible. I've had some people do this really well. And I'll show you guys how to control that later. I like to control the spine because where the spine goes, the body follows. Does that make sense? They don't want to do a clinch, we'll do a takedown, so you'll see that how effective I can off balance a guy just with the, the control of the spine. So once the hand is here, right, when I'm control, pull. See my body? As I pull, see my lead change? Don't switch like this, okay, guys? <laughs> and then you do my knee. Think about how fast I can land my right foot. Not the left foot, not this. It's my, it's my, my rear foot, like that. Then there's a knee. Does that make sense? It doesn't take much. It's not this. Ah, I'm gonna need you, right? It's just like there. It's just how fast I do this. My right foot. I bring my right foot, then my left follows. So that progression is always this. So now my hand is here, right? I just pull, boom, right here. See my hand? That foot's already in position. Don't, not, not here, guys. She's not sweep me. Very common mistake. Right here. So now she has, she has no way to reach me from the outside. Then the center of her body opens up. You see, my knee travels this way, not this way. That's hard, right? You got to really twist that body. So my foot, boom. See my knee? Well, my foot is here. See my angle? Now my knee opens to the center. So now you have a choice of doing this, boom. Now once you get that, guys, elbow follows, okay? Every time my knee, boom, see elbow? Then this pack goes up, elbow. Then see my body? Then there's a kick. And then you come back right away. Okay, that combination always sets up for the follow-ups. Does that make sense, guys? So you have knee, right? Pull, you can knee, you can elbow, horizontal, vertical, right? Then you push, angle out, and you do a kick. Then you foot jabs. Does that make sense, guys? Right? So, so add a new ounce of like jab, your cross, your kick. And my body's here, right? Boom, then you knee, then you elbow, you push, then you kick. She comes in, I cheap, then I kick again. <laughs> She's like, oh crap, my feet are like this. That's a work.